Hi, I'm Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor, and today we are here in Aurora, Colorado at the South Shore neighborhood, and we are looking at homes by Richmond Homes. Right now we're in the Seth model. Let's go ahead and get started. So when you first come in, we have this just this little hall right here. And then you really get a good view of a lot of the house. If you turn around over here, you can see back, we see our kitchen island and back for our dining room. And then if you look over this way, we have our formal dining room right over here. Turning back over here, you can see that we have our stairs leading upstairs. And of course, we will go check that out when we are done with the main floor. Now, when we first come in, um, we, have, we do have a hallway over here. Let's go ahead and start by checking that out first. The first thing we come to is our entrance leading down into our basement. Now, our full unfinished basements do come standard in the base price here, but you do have options to finish those if you need to. Coming over here, we come to a nice big walk-in coat closet. Over here, we have our entrance in from our garage. And then across from that, we have what they have set up as an office right over here and a nice walk-in closet in here. Now, if you needed this to be your, um, a bed, if you needed a bedroom on the main floor, this would definitely work for that. So whatever you need for you and your family. Now, coming back down here, you come take a look in here. We have a powder bath. This is your bathroom for your, um, for your main floor. Okay, coming back down this hall, we're going back towards the front door. And like I said, let's get one more look at this nice formal dining room. Really like that, a couple windows in here, keep plenty light and bright. And they have a good sized table in here, so there's plenty of room um, if you have a larger table. Walking back this way, we are into uh, this gorgeous kitchen. And the first thing I notice is this nice big Island. Absolutely love this island. They have four chairs pulled up to it. Um, and lots and lots of cabinets and countertop space in this kitchen. Over this way, we do have a little pantry in the corner. And then if we walk back over here, we come into our dining room area. Now you'll notice this is kind of framed in and it's also vaulted in here. This is actually an upgrade. This is their sunroom upgrade. So if you don't pick to have this upgrade done, this whole room would not exist. Your kitchen would be reconfigured in a different way. So keep that in mind. But boy, I would love to pick this upgrade. Very, very nice. You have windows on all three sides and, and also our sliders that are leading out onto our deck over here. And something to keep in mind if in picking the sunroom upgrade is not only do you gain that extra square footage on this main level, but also in the basement. So it's like a double bang for your buck there. I would definitely consider that. Okay, and last down thing on our main floor is our great room, which is a really good size. Um, some nice big windows on this wall over here that are looking out into your back deck and backyard. A couple windows on either side of the fireplace here. Nice size, also feels very light and bright in here. So that's our main floor. We're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and check that out. Okay, here we are at the top of the stairs. And when you come to the top of the stairs, there's a couple different ways you can go. We're gonna head this way first. All right, so the first thing that we come to over here is a secondary bathroom. This one has a double sink vanity, as you can see. And also the tub and toilet are in their own private um, room. So that way somebody can be using the tub while someone else is washing hands. Okay. Right across from that, we come to our first secondary bedroom. This one is quite spacious, I have to say. Good size secondary bedrooms in this home facing the front of the house. One window in here looking out to your front yard. Coming back out and just right around the corner, this room is also facing the front of the house. I don't know if this one's smaller. It does feel a little bit smaller than the other one. But um, I'll have to say with those two windows in here definitely feels plenty light and bright okay keep on moving 
down the hall or we come to our laundry room. Always nice to have your laundry room on the second floor so you're not hauling clothes up and down the stairs. And finally, we are to our last secondary bedroom. This uh, window over here is facing the side of the house. And one great thing about this bedroom, well, actually, there's a couple great things. First is a nice big walk-in closet. And the second thing is this bedroom does have its own bathroom. Come on this way and let's check it out. Not a huge bathroom but a bathroom nonetheless, and probably this is gonna be the room that your teenage daughter is gonna want. Perfect one for her. All right, so we're gonna walk back this way, down this hall. Right back here, we are back to our stairs and into our loft. This is a really nice, big, spacious loft. You can see they have it set up as an extra TV room. But think about how you'd use the best for your family, whether it's exercise equipment, playroom, homework room. Think about how you'd use it best for you. And finally, we are into our master bedroom. Nice size master. I like the windows on either side of the bed. And then we have windows here facing back towards the rear of the home. Plenty big, light and bright. And then into our master bath. Over here we have a double sink vanity. We have our tub, some nice windows in here, letting in plenty of natural light, that's always nice. Um, a shower. We have a private toilet closet right over here. And then right at the very end we have a walk-in closet. And then actually a really nice size walk-in closet. So I would say this is the wife's walk-in closet. The other one's obviously the husband's walk-in closet, right? <laughs> the men never get the big one. <laughs> okay, again, my name's Courtney Murphy. We're here in Aurora, Colorado in the South Shore neighborhood looking at the Richmond's home, Richmond homes. And this is the Seth model. If you'd like to see one of these homes in person, definitely give me a call. I'd love to help you find the right home for you and your family and save you some money in the process. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm uploading new home tours around the Denver area every single week. Thanks for joining me today and have a wonderful day.